Rehoming my pet cricket. That's right. So this is my pet cricket, Gerald. Now me and Gerald, we go back many, many days. Many days. And Gerald's a good little cricket, look. He's got a little owl. Made him a little owl in his little, little vivarium. Now for pet crickets, they love moss. They love moss. And they love the moisture from the moss. And they like to suck that moisture from the moss. Like my pet cricket, Gerald, is doing right there. Now, what do pet crickets eat? Well, you can feed them like lettuce, cabbage, all sort of, all sorts of greenery, greenery really. They don't mind any of that. Or you could get like a bug, a bug grub. That's what it's called, which is um, high in protein and, and all the stuff for for crickets. Now, how long do pet crickets last and live for? Well, you could be looking at, to be honest, I don't have a dickery do how long crickets live for. Um, maybe a year. That might be even, no, probably a year. they got to live a year. I, I think crickets live a year. But my cricket, Gerald, now he, he is going to be, yeah, he's a great pet. And I can't wait to bond like I bonded with my pet tarantula, Lottie, who's passed away, no longer with us. Still raw, but we're looking to the future. Now I've got Gerald, my pet cricket. I'm going to be loving life the Gerald. Isn't that right, Gerald? What was that? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I've just bought myself an orange baboon tarantula, an OBT, orange bitey thing. Yeah, they're, they're highly venomous, and if you get bit, you should seek medical attention immediately. So, for all you enthusiasts out there, don't get one of these. But Gerald, Gerard, <coughs> is going to be... Oh no! Gerard's gone. In an instant, Gerard is dead. So, yeah, well, rather Gerard than my f hand. If you want to watch again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Get your green fingers.